Hello, my name is Richard, and in this video I'm going to show you how to properly um, set up and install your photo eye. So you'll see what I have here set in front of you is the parts that come in the box that are designed to um, set your photo eye up, to install your photo eye onto your mounting kit. So you'll recognize you've probably already gotten this far. So this bar here um, is the bar that comes in the kit. So I'm going to show you a couple different ways to set this photo eye up because you're not limited to just one way. So you'll see here I have the kit that comes in to mount your photo eye. And you don't need to use all of these pieces. You can use as few or as many as you want to get the right setup. Oops. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take this piece. And you'll see it's kind of, it just slides right over the bar there. So let's go ahead and slide it right there. So you'll see it means we can move this guy around 360, whatever we want. So for this purpose, I'm just going to show you the most basic setup for a photo eye, one I like to use the most because it's the easiest, and we start off with this first bar. Now I'll show you later on in the video using the second bar. So you'll see that I have this guy here, this, uh, I don't really know what to call it, a ring mount, um, sticking off there perpendicular to the bar. And then we'll go ahead and put this ringed guy here. Great. And now you'll see set up. Now, when you take your photo eye out of the package, you'll have a small screwdriver. And that screwdriver is what you're going to use to adjust the gain for your photo sensor, as you see here. It also is going to come with these two steel nuts. And what these are for? So we're going to go ahead and put one on the photo eye. Let's just back that down about halfway. Great. Now we got that there. Slide them through the hole here. Oops, let me move my hand out of the way. Great. And let's make sure when we do this that we have access to that light, that screw that we were talking about for adjusting the gain. So I'm going to put it right here on the top. And then you can hand tighten these. Um, I suggest grabbing a pair of pliers or something, though, and giving it a little turn so it doesn't come loose at any point for you. Now, this is the first way that I recommend setting up your photo eye. And then you would take your printer, install it on your second bar, and it would sit on top. So you'll see you have your photo eye directly in line with your printer. That's my favorite. That's the easiest way to work with it. But if you need other methods, or you need to have your photo eye in a different position, you definitely have more options. So another popular way that I see a lot of people do these photo eye uh, kits is doing it in a C-shaped pattern because maybe they want to get it somewhere else. Your photo eye placement is easily one of the most important steps um, for you during the installation of your printer. Getting it in the right place in relation to your product is going to make your life a lot easier when you go to doing the setup for your printer. So let's go ahead and tighten that down. Oops, I'm tightening the wrong one there. It's this guy on the bottom. And you'll see we're tight and in place. We have this kind of C-shaped pattern here. I haven't personally used this for anything, but it's definitely an option for you. And again, same as before, we can take the photo eye, put it through the loop here, tighten our things down. Great. So there you see we have photo eye place. Now, it's if we want to change it, it's simple. Look. We can turn this, and now our photo eye is in a different position. Or we can bring this here, and now our photo eye is in another position. And so these are going to turn and allow us to really do whatever we want with it. Great. Now you'll see we have our second bar in. I'm going to go ahead and move our camera here. Great. And we're going to go ahead, and we can do the same stuff again here. So, for instance, we still have access to this first bar here. We can mount on top or below if we need. Um, 
But with using this second bar, your printer is going to be mounted to this bar, right? So a lot of people want to have that photo line maybe a couple inches before the product passes the printer for timing reasons. And we can do that. So you'll see here, I've mounted this over here. Let's see if I can show you with the camera. Great. Yeah, so you can see we're mounted there. And now, as you've seen before, you have several different options with this. It's all just kind of how you want to go about it. Um, what's the easiest way for you? What presents the best timing situation for your product so that every box gets a print? We have one situation here. I'm going to go ahead and remove this. And most of the time, this is probably going to be too high for your product, right? So let's just go ahead and drop it underneath. And now we've angled that a little bit lower. Kind of guaranteed to hit our print there. Now, <coughs> our box there. Now the last thing I want to show you guys is, is adjusting this photo line. Is you'll see you don't only have that uh, this motion here, you also have a 360 degree motion here. So you want to make sure there's a screw and right now it's all the way at the bottom there. You see me moving this nut up. So this will tighten this into place. So just get it all the way up top here. And I'm just going to hand tighten, but it's still good and good for me right now. Awesome. So now let's go ahead and show you guys how to adjust the gain. Okay. Now you can see here with the photo eye, I have this photo eye pointed directly in front of the printer. And so if I want to set the gain, I'm going to go ahead and take the product that I'm going to print on and I'm going to put it in front, right? Because there's a light on the photo eye here. And this light should blink every time a product passes in front of it. And so you'll see here, you hear the printer beep. Let's see if you can see that light. Let me get zoomed in on that for you. So now when I move this box out of the way, you'll see that that light turns off. Now if that light is on all the time, that means you're constantly picking up a print trigger and you're not going to be able to print on something. So that's where we come into play adjusting this gain here. And so the way I like to do that is I put the product where I want it. Now typically when I start, it's not that easy. It doesn't just start reading right away because the gain might be set differently. Um, when you for default than what I've already adjusted this photo I to. So great. I went ahead and I got myself my little screwdriver here. This is not the same screwdriver that comes in your pack. But you'll see as I turn that counterclockwise, that light goes off. Now this isn't going to detect anything because I've gone outside of the range. So what I like to do is this is what's going to happen to you most of the time when you go to set up your photo op is you're not going to trigger something or maybe you're triggering all the time. And this adjustment is very important to getting that just right. So the way I do this is I set my product like it's going to print and I slowly turn this screw clockwise until that light turns on, which means now I know that it's going to detect it every time it passes. So if I move this away and the light turns off, that means I know that it's going to detect the package every time. So we'll pull it away, detect, pull it away, detect. And it's as simple as that. Thanks for watching.